Hello, Claudia. So nice to have you here today. And I want to ask you many questions. So first, maybe, can you say something about you? Hi, Blanca. Really nice to see you again. Uh, I'm really happy to do this. And um, yeah, I hope that the information I provide today or some feedback also can help other people and uh, empower others and encourage others uh, in, with maybe same, same um, questions and difficulties. Uh, so I'm Claudia Murar. I'm um, I'm uh, living in Switzerland. I come from Romania. I have uh, uh, I'm a working mom of a, a toddler now. She's one and a half year old. And um, the reason I contacted you uh, a few months ago was um, because I have um, I've always had I felt like I've always had some compulsive uh, eating uh, disorder. I I I can eat I can have these cravings crazy cravings, uh, and uh, I just sometimes it happened especially more frequently in the last months that I would eat a lot be between the first part of the day, the first six hours, and then yeah feel miserable and then. Um, yeah, if you also feel guilty because, of course, uh, yeah, you you don't you cannot do sports really anymore, or also, of course, you want to be energetic for the daily tasks and also for work, but also especially for the family and kids. And I'm also still breastfeeding, um, so uh, of course, this also uh, yeah scared me in a way because I don't want to eat too much. I mean, I, I was also, of course, I was eating a lot of uh, unhealthy things and also that goes in the milk as well, but it's not just temporary. I just want to fix this for the rest of my life. So not to be a slave of the food anymore, but um, yeah, to have a control of for myself. Yeah, you said it nicely because we are slaves of the food when we cannot control ourselves, right? When there is not this detachment from the food because detachment means it's not that we completely remove it from the house but it doesn't make anything with us when it's lying in in, in front of us so what actions did you actually take well i mean i've taken i've taken it's incredible now that i look back but i've taken uh actions because sometimes we forget we actually do these baby steps so um thank you for reminding me sometimes to gratify and look back hey what what uh, what steps are, have you already made so um i've started already with some tips that you gave us through the courses um and uh, one of them for example was to eat more protein so i'm now eating i had no idea before i had no idea that i'm supposed to eat uh, uh, that much amount of protein or i don't even know how to calculate the proteins in my in my in my breakfast or anywhere and i was clearly e eating even when i was not having the cravings when i thought i was eating healthy actually i was not eating really healthy or or equilibrated at all uh, so I started now really uh, eating, as you said, at least 20 grams of protein per meal. As I'm breastfeeding, I try to eat a bit more protein uh, at some meals. And uh, I, I completely changed my breakfast uh, routine. So before I was eating always uh, sweet things or not necessarily always sweet, but also porridge, which porridge is not a problem. I can eat porridge, but in my case, I was not balancing that well. I was not combining it with proteins so now if I have porridge I also combine it I always look to have the proteins in there and um, another big change that I've done for all my meals now is to vegetables so I'm eating always now vegetables before the meal and also before I was not eating really I mean I thought I was having vegetables I was I would do quiche and I would put some veggies in it and a lot of cheese and cream and I thought I would have my veggies but actually that was not at all enough vegetable um, as, as we should have. So I'm eating the vegetable first, putting there the fiber, and then I go, I go, I follow your advice to eat then next uh, proteins and fat. And in case I want carbs or sweets, I, I do that afterwards. And um, I feel I eat much more than before. And I feel, uh, I don't know, I feel like, and I, I I haven't in terms of pounds or anything, I have not gained anything more, but I feel much better, more energy, but also more, I have the society. So I'm not hungry anymore after 
half an hour, like before and I was, of course I have some days, it's, I have days maybe once a week or once every yeah, 10 days or so that I'm like, oh my God, I have to reload on, I know, carbs or sweets. But I think that's just an issue that I'm not yet, I'm still at the beginning, so I'm not yet fully, you know, balanced overall. So I still need time to train, but um, I, yeah, uh, in the, most of the days I feel more, more less hungry than before and I feel better and also I have in the evening I, I don't fall asleep immediately and then I, I'm yeah also more energetic and more productive more efficient and uh, yeah and then another I mean also I try to add nuts as you say so to some years or when I you also gave us ideas about um, yeah real guards how to mix them with what so with some nuts or blueberries or or uh, to create also again a, a good protein or a good combination as a snack um i also try what else uh, i'm also trying i mean now not to eat on stress anymore mm -hmm. uh, um, because before i was a lot of time i mean eating yeah I, I don't realize but either from work of course i create a lot of stress or also even sometimes with my baby you know because you know you try to do things in the same time and you look at her and maybe she's not in the best mood so you know you have to also eat before you put her to bed and then wow i mean i, I thought sometimes i was feeling my heart you know pumping and eating in the same time and I had no idea that, I mean, eating when you're stressed creates so much damage to your body and your gut. And I also learned that in your classes. So, um, yeah, I'm trying now to, first of all, not eat when I'm stressed, but also when I'm stressed to try to use one of your techniques to, you know, relax pretty fast and then go move on. And, and yeah. this is actually a really good topic because me, I also have two kids and when the kids were small, I was always eating either with them or eating the leftovers after mm -hmm. them. And that's what I see. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was reading a beautiful article and it was about, we are not a bin. Mothers are not a bin. So that oh, uh, yeah. we should do exactly the same thing as they tell you in the plane. First, take care of yourself. Feed yourself, put the mask on yourself. Mm -hmm. And only then feed the others and take care of the others. So I decided when my kids were like six years old, that which is actually late I, I recommend doing it much <laughs> earlier is that I will always eat when they sleep and only when I'm full and relaxed I will take care of them yeah so I never eat with my children I sit at the table when I serving them the food and they ask oh can I have more of this more of that because by the time I have already eaten my meal and I can have a full conversation with them I can enjoy looking at them so this is what I would recommend, yeah. And then you yeah. don't, you never ever have to eat under stress because yeah. you eat always when you are on your own and you enjoy it. So it's this mindful eating. Yeah. But when we talk about the course, how would you describe the course? How would you describe the videos? What is the benefit of it? And is it manageable to watch it all? Like you such a busy person, is it possible? Yeah, of course. I mean, wow, the videos are really good. I mean, also very informative and also a lot of science, science information in there and informations. And um, of course, sometimes there are some information which are a bit theoretical, but I think it's in a good proportion because it's good to have those bases and really understand what happens with the hormones in your body and everything in order to really understand what you're actually doing to yourself when you, yeah, when you yeah when you stress yourself when you eat nonsense when you do all those yeah things um the, so the videos or the classes there i mean I, the, they're divided in four courses which they all have are well, well structured so the i i really recommend to everyone um yeah except of just the discussions with you individual discussions i really recommend those because it's a lot of information and a lot of ideas and recipes and a lot of um, um yeah well I, I think it's a really useful information for everyone and a good basis and for me it was a lot of wows in all the videos maybe I was very ignorant and I did not know many basic things that most of people know but for me I think all chapters they were oh, wow okay <laughs> um in terms of the time uh, sometimes yeah of course was uh, actually to to watch them was you can find the time it depends uh, when you do or at, at 
some points for some of the videos you were doing sessions in the evenings and for me it was not always easy to join i mean actually i think the evenings ones i did not join i only joined the lunch time ones or the morning ones it's just because it was really at the time when i was putting to bed my daughter but otherwise uh, yeah you you can always find the time to watch the videos and sometimes i was you know pushing this out and i was like not so um, not so, you know, consistent with it, but I'm really happy I now completed them all. And I like one thing that you told me at some point, I mean, the best time to do something is yesterday, or I yeah. mean, you know, don't say you do it on Monday or, you know, tomorrow. Or I'm, I'm like such, I'm usually procrastinating really lots of things. So, I mean, I really like that, that thing that you said. And then, yeah, of course it helps. Except of the videos, of course, the, the individual discussions and also the courses which, and the advice that you give it. Yeah, Yeah, because discipline is actually freedom. Because when we have the discipline and we do things, whether we want or not, we just do them on autopilot, then we have the freedom. And as soon as we are waiting for the motivation to knock on the door and say, hello, today I want to watch the video, today I want to eat healthily, this is not going to happen because yeah. motivation never, never, never like comes. So the yeah. successful people and women in the course that really like lost weight, improve their hormones, it's those ones that scheduled it in the agenda and really turned up, you know, for the classes. So mm -hmm. how would you say where, what, what is like, how would you describe this live support, the live Q&A sessions? What is it about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The live Q and A sessions—they're really, yeah, they're really good because you can address any questions. I mean, based on the videos that you've watched, but also related to other topics, and also even if individual topics or also other types of advice or, or, or that we need, you know, personalized for ourselves. So even though we would be supposed to only ask questions from those specific chapters or so on we could always just ask any questions. So I think that was really much appreciated because, you know, and also you learn not just from the questions we ask about us, but also hearing from the others what they ask you. And, you know, we always learn from others. So you also hear other people's problems and maybe maybe you're not alone in all this. And then you also hear uh, same <laughs> issues or sometimes new issues and, uh, also yeah. new ideas of uh, recipes actually you, you also yeah share in this not just your suggested ideas but also some people share theirs and yeah that was really nice and, that's great talking about the meal plans did you have a chance to watch the video about meal plans when i review like what i was eating and giving their the feedback did you watch them yeah so i was i watched all of them from the eat clean get lean courses and i'm still i haven't finished the one from the meal plans for busy women but i've watched the um, yeah i think almost half of those um uh they're i mean really good i've already implemented a few of them and there are many what i like it's really that most of the things they don't take time and then you're like a supportive of yeah batch cooking so also cooking in a you know more yeah for for several days but also they don't take much time but they're very healthy and they use some tips and then tricks that you can do and make it so much better for yourself and you feel so much better and uh, also you don't recommend just sh or pictures of your own so that's really good actually that you can see because everything in the end it's in the picture if it looks appealing as well you you want to try and but also you share some um, sites really good sites that uh, uh, like downshiftology I really like it where it, where they just uh, they just within a few minutes you know you can prepare meals and uh, and uh, just yeah you can you can find ideas very fast that's fantastic and books of what you share and then you really i mean it's an encyclopedia i mean in terms of if you have time uh, to to watch all those and uh, you know also read all those i think it's a lot of ideas i mean i think uh, it's definitely books that i can use a lifetime you know and go slowly i don't have to implement all in a week or all in a month or in a three months i can go slowly and then try slowly try more and more that's fantastic. And what would you say about the comprehensive initial consultation? 
uh, the comprehensive i mean the uh, so you mean just the first um, yeah the first session or the first where session. we go through the blood test results ah, yeah 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 oh yeah oh wow so uh, for me i mean this is uh, was really good and I, I really want i mean i look forward you know i want to now um yeah continue with my lifestyle improvement or so and in few months to do again those blood tests and then go again with you through them i mean i had i had no idea about so many things so also for example i i was lacking so many i mean not lacking but some vitamins that you know the doctor the general doctor says ah yeah that they're within the range but when you look they were within the very lower range so if you would have some vitamins it, that the range was between 300 and 1200 it would have been good to be in the range i don't know eight nine hundred closer to 1000 but i was like really 310 and yeah. then of course they're within the range and the doctor says nothing but they were at the limit that was a lot of vitamins then of course um i was always had like iron or i mean pretty low iron and then i also learned a lot from you about the the iron the ferritin the free iron in the blood and um, I also look forward to check my next one blood test to see how that went and yeah you know um, as I'm breastfeeding it's a bit uh, not so um, easy at the moment to say where how the hormones um, yeah whether I have an issue an imbalance on the hormones because as I'm breastfeeding the hormones anyway are low but maybe as soon as I yeah, stop breastfeeding we can check also that and then see you know, maybe I have some hypothyroidism, which uh, I see it's such recurrent, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, recurrent uh, issue. I mean, that people have nowadays, and many women have, and yeah. they don't know about it. And you know, I always had irregular menstrual cycles, and now I I don't have yet. But uh, when I have, you know, we can also look into that. And you have so many supplements. I mean, you already recommended me a few that I'm, that I'm taking. Of course, it's limited because I'm breastfeeding. I cannot take so much. But as soon as, you know, I also stop that and we look into the new blood tests, I'm sure there will be so many things that I can really fix with more of those supplements that you recommend. And then, yeah, the additional alimentation. And there were so many things I did not really look into. And I mean, I discovered, and I, if I remember, there were even some tests, which I mean, you, it was a bit flagged in the, the tests. And then the doctor said nothing, uh, but yeah, you even mentioned, yeah, you, you see, it's like, uh, it's not so good. It's like blood clotting. It can be blood yeah. clotting, can be, you know, cardiovascular. So yeah, it's, yeah. I discovered yeah. a lot through them and I try, with the food and lifestyle to make it better and let's see the next ones yeah and it will so basically the reason why we do the comprehensive initial consultation with the blood test is that when you now follow all these new lifestyle habits and you go for example in six months time or in one year to do the blood test you can compare them together and you always have the video, right? So even if you are not with me and you would be listening to the recording, you just go through that because now you know what is glycosylated yeah. hemoglobin, what is C-reactive protein, what is this and that, because yeah. I explained yeah, that. Exactly. And yeah. you can see the improvement. And when you mm. see the improvement, like seeing is believing, and then yeah. you know, okay, it really works. Mm. Food really can heal us. Yeah. so actually also our mind yeah so yeah. whatever we put yeah. our mind to whatever we believe whatever we manifest mm -hmm. that's what we do in the courses as well is uh what happens but when we are talking about the hormones we also took part in the hormone yoga therapy course yeah what would you say about that well wow, so for me this is and thank you Blanca for making me discover this I really enjoy it I haven't had much time in the last few days to do it but I really I feel like I miss it even though I don't I only started like a couple of months ago but I feel like I really want I mean I have to want to do it again and it's something that it's a it's a it's a I don't know what to say I mean it's a physical activity or sport or so on that I can use it for the lifetime it's something that us women we should all be aware about the existence of this and uh, know how to practice this because it's um 
yeah, it's so so much about how to rebalance in a way our hormones in the end. And it's so so much of poses, yoga poses that you explain uh, well that, for example, some poses helps for your adrenal glands, have some for the thyroid, and some you know some bre breath work for the thyroid. Some breath works also helps for the ovaries, and also with the together with the movements with it, and you actually feel i mean when you're doing it you're you're almost okay you're also thinking about it but you're feeling okay now you're putting like you know you're creating some movement in your thyroid sometimes you're you know putting pressure on your adrenals sometimes when you do the exercise for ovaries you 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 feel also you're thinking and then you're like that you're massaging or doing uh, something good for 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 the um, for these parts of your body at least for the parts of the women body which for us they're like was so so important so important not i mean not just temporary but for our whole life for the yeah for the menstrual cycle in the future for the perimenopause for the Absolutely. when we reach menopause i mean it's um yeah and not just the courses so you offered i mean i mean the whole whole practical thing which is great and you you looked with us that we do it correctly but also the theory behind mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like oh I you think... have your aura ring right tell me oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. that's another <laughs> thing the aura ring. so this is another thing that you learned from me yes right? yes so yes how would you describe aura ring and how is it helping you? Yes, so I have it recently, so I cannot say too much, too, too many things about it, but I'm checking daily the 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 yeah, my my status and seeing how, how everything goes. And I'm really excited to see more data in uh you know how we can analyze together those data. But I, I really enjoy it. I mean, first of all, it's yeah, easy and then I mean you you even don't have to yeah. think you have it there, but but you check in the app. Uh, I mean, you have data about uh, yeah how you feel readiness, how you your sleep. You feel like sometimes, yeah, you see like really how, how yeah your evolution is within the days, and also the body temperature, uh, how how it changes from a day to another day, and uh, yeah, together with that, you know, you can do, you can. I mean, of course. You can anyway, you don't need all those data. You can also listen to your body, but it's also sometimes valuable to look and see mm -hmm. uh, all those fluctuations and decide, for example, okay, maybe these days I should not really go running, you know, I mean, or, you know, exer overdoing it too much. I mean, or uh, some days you can do it. And then, yeah, I'm still at the beginning with it. I enjoy it so far. And I, yeah, we can discuss also in the next times. So you give me some advice about how to interpret all those data. Yes. And, and actually in the hormone yoga therapy course, there are the theoretical modules. One of the module is uh, yeah. screenshots yeah. from my aura ring, yeah. where I, for example, explain that if the temperature is going down, yeah. we are yeah. in a, a follicular phase and yeah. we are growing the yeah. estrogen yeah. and what kind of exercise we should do, yeah. what we should eat. Yeah. And then the temperature is going up. It's after the ovulation. Yeah. So I think that this is brilliant as well, because, for example, after the ovulation, when we are approaching the menstrual cycle, it's actually good to eat some carbohydrates, yeah, so that mm. we avoid the premenstrual syndrome and so on so once we understand our body we also know in this cyclical way how to eat and what what kind of exercise to do yeah, so it, i really really love exactly, it exactly yeah yeah i remember that one and actually that one was also one of the reasons i decided okay i really want to buy it and you know get more data and also in function of that yeah be able to you know understand more my body and i was mm -hmm. before i was I was over, I either over exercising or not at all, and then not doing in the right time, and then you you not just physically but mentally, then you don't feel great and you don't understand why. Yeah. So, uh, and you know now is one thing. So if somebody is listening to us and they think, well, but Claudia is rich, she can afford to buy Aura Ring, she can afford to buy all the courses. What would you say to them? Well, so for me, I mean. Uh, I would say also the first of all the courses I don't find uh, I don't find them overpriced at all I mean and also you many times you have some discounts depending on the yeah if it's a Black Friday or so on but even though I actually Thursday is really, coming there will be a discount <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know really I don't don't uh, um, yeah I don't I don't find them at all overpriced I find I I mean it's a really good price 
and uh, also considering that you're investing for your life so uh, it's not something that you do it just temporary because even though you will see i mean you will you will see effects and then and maybe who knows maybe at some point you go again go down and but you have all the tools and you have all this information to make you go up because you acquire so much information you now know so much more about yourself about your body not just about what you eat because your courses they're not just about food it's also about the mental how to help the mental with it and all the tools with it um so you have so much so many things at hand uh that that help you then move on and um i mean as i said it's for lifetime it's not just for yeah temporarily one year or to see immediate results and the price for that i mean uh it's it's really not much but when you look for a light uh, yeah so do you think the, that there is this like ripple effect that can like you can transmit all the information to your daughter? Yes, yes, actually, uh, that's exactly so that's also for family members, you know, and I, I'm already, even my to my parents, I've already started telling a few of the, the tricks, you know, one another thing, sorry, I forgot to mention another thing that I'm doing also, uh, that you were suggesting not to everyone, but if I can, from time to time, the, the fast, I mean, intermittent fasting, mm-hmm. you have, sometime between the you know last meal and early meal or other meals you know to and uh, that also helped me a lot to feel much better and more energized in some, the days when I was doing it and um so also I was also telling to that of, to my family and then um yeah I'm already implementing some of those I mean sharing some information to my parents or yeah to a partner or or I look forward to my daughter but for example even now I try to you know put already these things you know veggies before and then (laughs) you get the protein and the rest and uh, for sure I want this I'm doing this also to change myself and also to be able to change also for my daughter so that when she's older that doesn't get to the same issues as I have you know and uh, to have a control control way of living We also went shopping together. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would you say about like shopping with a nutritionist? What were your aha moments? Yeah, I mean, I discovered again, of course, a lot. I mean, also about Annatura, I was, uh, yeah, not knowing. I mean, I was sometimes going in by to buy, you know, like some, I don't know, some cracker or something like that. But uh, I never really... Yeah, I never really valued the things they have inside. I always thought, oh, it's just like, oh, this kind of uh, super, uh, you know, pricier shops than, mm-hmm. than Coop or Migro or others. But yeah, they they don't, I, I did not even pay much attention before, but I discovered so much, you know, with, uh, with you because you gave me so much advice in all the rayons. So the veggies one, the fruits, the, the nuts, the oils, the proteins. The, so, I mean, I, 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 and we also, rec- we also recorded those together. So sometimes I, I listen to them and I'm now running out of something so I can go back and buy the same ones because now I have the recordings and, um, yeah you gave me a lot of tips of uh, and about some even some sauces even some things that you know it's not like you only recommend to uh, just eat veggies and fruits that's it no you you recommend uh, other things you know to combine so even some carbs uh, uh, and even some pizzas those yeah. uh, pizza you know, vegetable that, tortillas yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, tortillas yeah, they're exactly. so nice huh? really good yeah tahini sauce product, the dark yeah. tahini yeah the tahini i love the tahini yes i love it it as well mct oil yeah mct oil now i'm using that as well mct oil uh, yeah i mean uh the the hemp seeds i'm using uh the um, yeah lots of different nuts so i'm using again and then tahini tahini, i love oh yeah 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 the fish and i also bought a macro you know last time i really like i even had it at breakfast you know so i completely changed my brain i mean yeah it's yeah yeah. it's so many like tasty things that we can have right and the pleasure and how fast it can be prepared because when we are busy with it the Mm. last thing we want to spend hours in the kitchen knowing that you can have tahin and uh, 
pizza and you're yeah. going to have this and that and still keep it low carb, high yeah. in fiber, high in protein. It's just um, amazing. Yeah. yeah. yeah and so I you love really tried. I love chocolate and you always gave me yeah, tips on how, you know, even it's, it's, I, it's not like I don't cannot eat chocolate anymore or, or something sweet. And I also like your uh, advice about 80, 20% rule, you know, sometimes also because if you, yeah, prive yourself of everything, then yeah. you, you're miserable. And anyway, then you're like eating uh, triple more another time. So. so do you feel like all these changes being sustainable for you? Yes. Yes, I feel like, as I said, some days, of course, are difficult and I, again, a baby go a bit down, down but I, I don't go then for a week like that. I move immediately up and then I'm sure I can, you know, be able to control also slowly also those days. And yeah, and then also, as you said, if sometimes it happens not to guilt myself and then it's normal for the body to ask sometimes for some things and then you move on and then, and yeah, definitely they're sustainable. And actually, as I said, I'm only... I've only implemented a few things, but I look forward to implement many others. And yeah, you recommend also many books and many, you know, meditation programs and many things to come together with all the nutrition. So I look forward to, you know, with time, I will also go through those. So as I said, it's something that you look, check and you learn through time and then it helps for a lifetime. So Phenomenal. So thank you so much, Claudia, for this like feedback and testimonial for other people. Those ones that are thinking, but it's too expensive. I don't have time. Um, why is it different than anything else? You know, why would I go to this nutritionist if I can go in the hospital and get mm. the list of food mm. of do's and don'ts? I think you clarified it yeah. really nicely. Is sure. there something else that you would want to say? no just thank you very much i mean for doing this for for us and i mean you know you're always very proactive you you ask more you know you always said ah it's also about us you know we have to put the effort there because you give us all the tools but i feel like you're i mean you're really i mean paying attention to us and then you know sometimes you just hey how's it going how how is it or do you need more questions do you have i mean when you see you you care about it it's not just like uh yeah it's not just like uh, you give us all the things and then you try no you really follow up you follow up a lot and it's really good and you're there for as uh, that i ask any questions when i have uh, and uh, yeah so i just thank you for for your availability